In a previous video, we looked at 24 terms every quantity surveyor needs to know. Due to the positive feedback from the first video, we've decided to make another one. So this is 24 more terms every quantity surveyor needs to know. If you enjoy these types of videos, please consider clicking the like button. The support you give us is always appreciated. Just like our previous video, we've tried to keep the definitions as concise as possible. Therefore, you may want to carry out some additional research. You'll find that some of these terms have dedicated videos on our channel. We've highlighted each term red, which has a corresponding video, and left a link to these in the description. Term 1, LAD, Liquidated Ascertained Damages. An agreed rate of damages paid by the contractor to the employer for a particular breach of contract. Term 2, GMP, Guaranteed Maximum Price. A contract in which the contractor is reimbursed for actual cost plus fee up to a ceiling price, which is the maximum amount a client will pay. Term 3, Risk Register. A vital tool in project management. The Risk Register is a document that lists potential risks, their impact, and mitigation strategies. Term 4, Continuous Professional Development. Defined as a commitment for people who are chartered or going through the process of becoming chartered, to continually update their skills and knowledge in order to remain professionally competent. Here at Matrone, we have an educational platform called Matrone Learning, where we offer over 30 hours of formal CPD. We've left a link in the bio if you'd like to know more. Term 5, Day Work. Work that cannot be priced in the usual way and is paid for on a daily basis based on time and materials used. Term 6, Prime Cost Sum. An allowance in the contract for the supply of work or materials to be provided by a nominated subcontractor or supplier. Term 7, Cut and Fill. A process in earthwork where the amount of material removed, cut, roughly equals the amount added, fill. Term 8, Earned Value Analysis. A project management technique measuring project performance and progress in an objective manner, taking into account scope, time and cost. Term 9. Snagging. Snagging involves identifying and listing defects or unfinished works in a construction project for rectification. Term 10. Contingency allowance. A budgetary provision made to cover unforeseen costs in a construction project. Term 11. Bonds. Provides protection to the client against non-performance of a contractor. Term 12. Extension of time. A mechanism by which a contractor request a longer period than had been contractually agreed to complete construction. Term 13, Lump Sum Contract. A contract in which the contractor agrees to complete the work for a fixed price. Term 14, Overhead and Profit. Costs associated with running a business, typically applied as a fixed percentage of the actual cost or price of works. Term 15, Provisional Sum. Funds set aside for specific elements of work which are not yet defined enough to produce an accurate price. Term 16, Quantity Breakdown. A detailed analysis of quantities for each element of a project. Term 17, Remeasurement. The process of measuring the actual work done on site, which may differ from initial estimates. Term 18, Subcontractor. A person or company hired by the main contractor to perform a specific task as part of the overall project. Term 19, Defects Liability Period. A specific time frame after the completion of construction during which the contractor is obliged to rectify any defects that arise. Term 20, Unit Rate. The cost per unit of measurement, like per square meter of floor area or cost per kilogram of steel reinforcement. Term 21, Variance. Used to describe a difference, for example, difference in planned versus actual cost, or planned versus actual completion. Term 22, work in progress or WIP, refers to cost or value of incomplete works in the construction process. Term 23, change order, a document used to alter the original agreement on a construction project. Term 24, as built drawings, referring to revised sets of drawings submitted by a contractor upon completion of a project. Matrone, a commercial hub for your business.